So, uh, hello guys. Today I'm going to show you how to load firmware.nds, which is the uh, DS's firmware on a uh, 3DS. So, I'm pretty sure, I think this is the first video of this on YouTube. I don't think there is an, there's another one, but anyway, so what you want to do is search firmware.nds on 3DS and then, yeah, it'll do it'll get this page and then you want to go to page five because it has the original github thing it uh, was uh, removed or something so yeah and then you want to find ntr ldr and um yeah you go to downloads where you find it and then if you have like 7-zip or something, yeah, and then just extract it to the root of the SD card. Uh, so yeah, you can run it with, you can run it with Twilight menu, and you can also run it with NDS Umbri menu. But yeah, so, so yeah, um, you also need to have firmware.nds, so you need to put it in the underscore nds folder and make a folder called ntr ldr and put firmware.nds in mm -hmm. and then yeah so it should work so yeah um, you have it your 3ds Turn on your 3DS. Uh, yeah, you just saw my password there, but. <laughs> oh. My computer's telling me that I need to restart it to finish setting up the audio driver or something. I don't know. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so you can use. NDS Homebrew Menu and Twilight Menu. Although they both use a file called boot.nds, but uh, Twilight Menu, like, when you've already used it, seems to work without boot.nds, so I just replaced it. And yeah, so I'm going to use Homebrew Menu because it's faster. I mean, it just loads faster, no offense. Rocket ROMs or anything. Yeah, so, um,. So yeah, what you wanna do is run ntr ldr dot nds, and look at that straight away. It boots Nintendo DS firmware. Yeah. So, oh yeah, that works. Well, it it doesn't change the brightness or anything, but yeah. So it does work. Like you have the settings. So the only thing is, it still has that annoying thing where you, <laughs> yeah, you have to shut it down every time you exit something, but yeah. So yeah, I'll show you the, like, uh, the alarm. I haven't tried it properly yet, but yeah. So if you want to know what patch I'm using, I'm using the sharpness test one and widescreen, obviously. But the thing, it, the thing I don't like about it though is some of the the characters look a bit like they look different, but they look a bit like pixelated, more pixelated, even though the original the original looks a bit blurry, but it, this one looks too much, I think. I don't know. It's just an opinion. But any, any setting, widescreen, makes it look like that. So, yeah. But, um, so, uh, Homebrew Mini, like, if you try to load firmware.nds from it, it boots in, like, DSi mode, so... It makes a noise like this. And then just does nothing. So, uh, 
Twilight Mini does the same thing when you run it on DSi mode. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, if you run it in DS mode, it does load, but then it just says that there's system settings have been lost. Yeah, you do, you can like you don't have to watch this, but but uh, yeah. The fake three DS money. So yeah, uh, DS mode, and yeah. But if you run it, I haven't got direct boot, but like it, no no no, it doesn't matter. But yeah, it does work, but then it just says system settings have been lost, you know. So, yeah. It's kind of annoying that you can't just go back to, like, Twilight Menu or Homebrew Menu from this. Twilight Menu you can when you load games, like, games on NDS Bootstrap. It, uh, you can go back by pressing L and R and down on the D-pad and B. But yeah, when you're just loading things like this, you have to go back. It's a re it's a really annoying, but yeah. I took the DSi split screen on Twilight Menu. So yeah, and TRLDR does work. So you can hear the click from the clock, <laughs> it's funny. Anyway, so, I'm gonna see if, oh yeah, it changes the, oh. yeah, maybe I'll test the alarm, actually. So yeah, PictoChat works. Even though I actually already have a CIA from, <clears throat> from the DSi version. Well, apparently it's different, but like, I don't know what's different about it. But yeah, it works. Yeah. My cousin gave me his DS Lite, but I have not been able to find it anywhere so <laughs> once I find it I'll do a video on it but yeah that's yeah so yeah just works and I'm very pleased about it because I've been trying to find it for a long time It just says your device is overheated, you can't use flash. No, okay. Well, I'll stop this video now. And yeah, hope you have a good time trying to do this yourself if you want to. Bye.